Hey guys, Todd here with another video for you, and today we're going to discuss the newly awaited new operating system that Apple's going to release this summer, Mountain Lion. But one thing that you might not know is Apple's going to be dropping some support for some of the older Macs out there. Anyway, uh, I found this article on TUAW.com, and I just wanted to go through it real quick and just let all my viewers and everybody that's a Mac user out there kind of aware of this new upgrade. So you might be looking forward to upgrading the Mountain Lion, but hey, this might, uh, this might shatter some of those uh, hopes for you. But anyway... As we know, Lion last um, year, last summer that it was released, it actually they dropped support of all Power PCs and a few other ones that I believe, basically anything that didn't have a 64-bit or Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Uh, so now with the release of Mountain Lion, here are the systems that Apple's going to be dropping. And by the way, man, this is just speculation or rumor. This is by what people have found in the code of Mountain Lion. So don't take this as you know as this is the it going to be when Mountain Lion's actually released. Some of these might actually be still there, but just to keep this in mind if you're thinking about upgrading from Lion to Mountain Lion when it comes out here in a few months. Anyway, so here's the following Macs that will not run on Mountain Lion. An iMac mid-2007 or later. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, sorry. Here are the machines that will only run with Mountain Lion. Sorry, I can't read iMac mid-2007 or later, the MacBook 13-inch aluminum 2008 model, 13-inch early 2009 or later. So basically what I think Apple's going to do here, as they did before, they killed the MacBook, they're going to kill MacBook, the plastic MacBook from running on Mountain Lion. All right. Next is the MacBook Pro, the 13-inch model, mid-2009 or later, 15-inch 2.4, 2.2 gigahertz or the 17 inch model late 2007 or later. So basically this is the, this one will be able to work on Mountain Lion because this is the uh, 15 inch 2.2 gigahertz. So basically it, it sounds like anything from 2007 or back is pretty much going to get wiped or 2008 comparing on the model what laptop or computer you're running. Next is the MacBook Air late 2008 or later, or later. Mac Mini early 2009 or later. Mac Pro early 2008 or later and XServe early 2009. So those are all the systems that will work with Mountain Lion. Now let's go to the ones, the bad news, which systems are not going to work with Mountain Lion. Sorry if I've confused you. I've even confused myself in this video. It's, you know, when you don't do these videos regularly, you kind of get old and rusty like I am right here, but sorry guys, we will get better. All jokes aside and whatever. Anyway, so here's the systems that will not run on Mountain Lion. Late 2006 iMacs, which are iMacs 5.1, iMac 5.2, and iMac 6.1. And the way you can tell if these are one of your machines, just go up into the left hand corner on the Apple, click on that, go about this Mac, and then go in there and you should be able to read all the specs of your Mac to find if you're not very sure. Just a little tip there. Next, all plastic MacBooks that predate the aluminum unibody redesign. So MacBooks 2.1, MacBook 3.1, and Mac 4.1, they will not work on Mountain Lion, which I suspected. They killed that off, uh, was it a year or two ago? So, of course, naturally, that's not going to run on Mountain Lion. That's just the way Apple is. That's the kind of company they are. They're not like Microsoft, or I shouldn't say Microsoft, like Windows. They just let systems that are 10 years old still run on modern operating systems because then you have all the compatibility issues. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's just how Apple is. They've always been like that. Um, they always, once, you know, a, a machine's at least two or three years old, maybe a little bit longer, maybe four years, they just, boom, they're done. Okay, right, sorry, you have to upgrade. And that's what keeps Apple at the forefront of, of most of the operating system and technology is because they do that. They don't cater to people that are 10 years old and have to keep rewriting this code and keep it going because that just creates more bugs and more problems. They just say, they say, leave it and move on. Anyway, next is the MacBook Pros released prior to 2007. So anything before June of 2007 will not run on uh, Mountain Lion with the MacBook Pro. So mine just makes it. Because I believe that's a, two, a June of 2007 when they went to the Sandy Bridge processors. Anyway, so MacBooks 2.1 and MacBook Pro 2.2. The original MacBook Air, Mac, MacBook Air 1.1 will not work with Mountain Lion. The mid-2007 Mac Mini will not work, so that's Mac Mini 2.1. The original Mac Pro and its 8-core 2007 refresh. 
So the Mac Pro 1.1 and Mac Pro 2.1 is not going to work with Mountain Lion. Any late 2006 or early 2008 X-Serves, X-Serve 1.1 or X-Serve 2.1 will not work. So, that's all the systems. If you have any questions or concerns or anything or you know, want more uh, info about this, I will link the article below. Um, just some of my thoughts on this. I pretty much gave them and sprinkled them through this whole video. I kind of talked in first, as you see, these were my first reactions. I think this is a good thing. Um, I'm glad that my MacBook Pro, I know probably after this year, it will basically be obsolete. Um, my Mac Pro should be good for another couple, probably two or three years, hopefully. So I'm pretty good when it comes to systems. Um, I'm surprised that this MacBook Pro is still working. I'm just waiting for it to basically crash, but that's one thing about Apple products. It, they normally don't crash. They, they can be around for years, but the only thing is, is the all the system specs and stuff like that processors are pretty much outdated uh, in terms of modern operating systems, you know, be able to run them and all the things that we can do. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for being a subscriber. If this is your first time viewing this video, please go look on my video section. You can see all the other videos I cover. I, I try to cover a range of different things, Apple, technology, reviews, unboxings, everything like that. If you have any suggestions on the channel that you'd like to see, other than just technology and stuff like that, some vlogs, some music stuff, um, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. Um, you can always follow me if you have a question. Um, you can either contact me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash Todd facebook.com slash Todd and you can email me at toddrecommends at gmail.com. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.